<laughs> oh, this story is too much. Man responsible for Olympic ring mishap found dead in Sochi. Okay, that's what the Daily Current reports. Now, <laughs> before I explain who the Daily Current is, it reads off, the man responsible for operating the Olympic rings during last night's Winter Olympic ceremonies in Russia was found dead today. It goes on to explain that the body of Boris <laughs> Avdinov was found in his hotel with multiple stab wounds. And then it goes on to say, his, although his body was badly man, mangled and his wounds were consistent with a struggle, so far officials say they didn't suspect foul play. Now, as soon as I got to that, I thought, wait a minute, wait a minute. Something's wrong here. <laughs> and I looked up and it wasn't the Daily News. It wasn't the uh, Washington Post or you know, New York Post or Daily, you know, whatever. I mean, a real newspaper. It was the Daily Current. Now, there's an old saying called donkey kicks me once, donkey's fault. Donkey kicks me twice, my fault. Well, I got snookered on the marijuana story in uh, Colorado where the Daily Current was saying all these people died the first day pot was legalized. And like an idiot, I went over there and started reporting that it was true. So I'm letting the world know right now that Daily Current is a parody site and it's not true at all that the guy who couldn't make the fifth ring at the Olympics at Sochi um, light up is dead. I mean, he's not dead. I, I mean, I don't think there's anybody who exists by that name, uh, T. Boris Avenovov or whatever. I mean, it's just, but don't be surprised if other people get snookered because just about anybody and everybody in the news business at one time or another, whether they admit it or not, has been snookered by something like the Daily Current. So there you have it. Not true. The Olympics will go on, and uh, that's all I have to say.